Writing JavaScript directly on the Pi isn't ideal. It doesn't have our developer environment with our favorite text editor or Git installed, and it can be a little bit slow for testing. So in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to transfer the code we write on our computers over to the Pi and then run it remotely. Before we can transfer any code over to the Raspberry Pi, we're gonna have to write some code. So let's start by creating a new directory. I'm just gonna create one on my desktop and I'm gonna call it lesson nine. Then I'm going to open this up in my text editor, VS Code, and just create a new file called app.js. So I have my lesson nine folder with my app.js inside of it. Now let's write some code. For this lesson, I actually wanna use an NPM module. So I'm gonna open up my browser, head over to npmjs.com, and I'm gonna search for the package Calse. Click on the first match and see, Calse is a configurable talking cow. I think you can already see how helpful this is gonna be in all our applications. If we scroll down, we can see a easy code example on how to use this. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it into my app.js. We are requiring an NPM module, so I'm also gonna to need to install that. I'll open up terminal, navigate to the projects directory, and type in npm install calse. This will download the package from npm and allow us to use it in our project. So now we should be able to run this code. I'm just gonna change some of the text here. And now this file is ready to run, we just need to transfer it over to the Raspberry Pi. In order to do that, we have to go back into terminal to execute this command. But before we hit enter, let's break down this command a little bit. The first thing, rsync, is the application that's going to transfer the code from our computer to the Raspberry Pi. Dash AVZ are just options that will make this run a little bit better. If you're curious about all of these, you can type in man rsync and read the documentation. The exclude option allows us to tell rsync to not transfer certain items. So we want to exclude the node modules directory as the Raspberry Pi will have to install its own version of all the dependencies, in this case, Calse. The dot tells rsync to send over the contents of the current directory. So make sure that you're running this from the correct location. In this case, I'm running it from the lesson nine folder. Pi at samspy.local tells rsync which computer to transfer these files to. Then the rest of it tells rsync which directory on the Raspberry Pi to transfer these files to. So in this case, I'm telling it to transfer it to a folder called video nine on the Raspberry Pi. If that folder doesn't exist, then it will get created on the Pi. So now I'm gonna hit enter and rsync is gonna use SSH to transfer all of these files. So it's not a surprise that rsync is asking me for the password. So this means that rsync was successful and transferred my JavaScript file over to the Raspberry Pi. So now I'm gonna log in to the Raspberry Pi using SSH. And if I list the contents of this directory, I will see this new video nine directory. So if I CD into that, I can see that there is my app.js that I created and the package lock.json that got created when I installed Calse. So now if I run npm install Calse to install the package on the Raspberry Pi. And now that my code is here and the package is installed, I can run this file on the Raspberry Pi. So I just have to run node app.js. And there we go, grazing in the Raspberry Pi. So now let's say I wanted to go back and make some changes to this code file. Uh, maybe I'm just going to add a smiley face at the end. Now I'm gonna have to resync this over to the Raspberry Pi. So what I like to do is to have two terminal windows open. 
the one on the right is going to be logged into the Pi and it will run the code. The one on the left will use rsync to transfer the code over. So I just have to make sure that I'm in the correct directory. And then I can run my rsync command. Now this will transfer the new code over. And over on the right here, I can just run that using node app.js. And there's that smiley face. I'm just going to change these to be i emojis. Save the file. And now all I have to do is rsync it over on the left. And then run it on the right. Now that we know how to use rsync, we can do all of our development on our normal computer, then just transfer the code over to the Raspberry Pi and run it there. So take a little bit of time to play around with this kind of process, and I'll see you in the next lesson.